What's cooking guys? Do you want to do a smooth push slide transition like this? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. All right guys, to get started, I have these two clips side by side, but I want to have my second clip actually on top of my first clip. But I want it on top of my first clip for the length of how long I want my push slide transition to be. I like my transitions to be 10 frames, so to actually get that 10 frames, I'm gonna hit the down arrow key to get to the end of my bottom layer. And if you can't do that, make sure your track is selected. I'm gonna hold the shift arrow key and hit the left arrow key twice. That's five, 10 frames right there. And I'm just gonna pull my top clip to match that. And here are my 10 frames. And now I'm going to go into my effects tab and I'm going to type crop. And then I'm going to grab crop and pull it on top of my top layer. And then we're gonna go into effects controls. And if you don't see effects controls, just go to windows and effects controls. And here we have our crop tool. I'm going to do a push slide left. So I'm going to be affecting just this left toggle. If you're doing a push slide right, up or down, then you're going to do the same exact thing, but just affect these other toggles. For up, just do top, for down, do bottom, and then for right, just do right. So the first thing we wanna do is I wanna go into my timeline here and I want to go to the end of my transition, which is just the end of this first clip. So I'm gonna hit the down arrow key, go to the end of that, make sure my top layer is selected. And now that I'm at the end of my transition, I'm going to go into my crop effect and I'm going to create a keyframe by just hitting the toggle animation key. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can actually see the keyframe. And now that we have that keyframe, now we're gonna to wanna to go to the beginning of our effect, which is the beginning of this clip here. And I'm gonna make sure my track is selected so I can hit the up arrow key and go to the beginning of that clip. And now I want to change the left to 100%. And then we have this quick push slide transition right here. Nice and quick from one clip to the next. And it's pretty fast, it's only 10 frames. If you wanna make it longer, just stretch out this clip and create more keyframes. You wanna make it shorter, same thing. Just pull it this way, make it shorter. But I think 10 frames is perfect, but we're not quite done yet. We gotta add just a little bit more. So I'm going to go into my keyframes here. I'm going to right click on my first keyframe and do ease out. And then I'm going to right click on my second keyframe, hit ease in. And now the last thing we're gonna do is we want to create a little feather in the middle to make it a little more seamless. So we're going to just affect the edge feather. And I'm going to just bring it up to like, um, I don't wanna do too much. I'm thinking like 30 for me. Again, based on your preference, whatever you want but it just kind of creates not just a straight line in the middle, but kind of like a little faded line, maybe a little more actually. And there it is, there's your push slide effect. You can adjust the feather even more if you want, but I think that's pretty good for what I'm looking for. Pretty smooth, pretty easy, pretty quick. Just this push slide transition to the left. And like I said, if you want to do this going the other direction, like right, up, or down, just do the same exact process, top, right, or bottom, and you'll get the same transition. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope this will help you out in some of your videos. Just a cool, quick transition. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe, you ring that bell, so you can be kept up with all my other transition videos like this. And as always, make sure you leave a comment, let me know what you think, or if I should do something differently, or if you want me to do other transitions. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.